afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. And that brings up Javi Baez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Liner towards second. But well, this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. A bouncer to the left side. Garcia has it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Here's Chris Bryant now. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. And that one got a piece of him. So a runner at first with two away. And stepping up to hit next, the catcher Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second. Just a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. with the plate Lorenzo Cain it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first the 1 1 home lifted down the line in left and that's going to land foul the 1 2 misses for the second ball you know we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball maybe not that far in but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Line drive to left. Schwarber is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first out. Here's Brock Burt now. He's yet to get into the hit column in the series. 0 for 7. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. In now, Christian Yelich. Hit down the third baseline. The second for one on to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. So here is Avisayo Garcia. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Chop towards first. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. That'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He's two for seven in the series so far. Now the three and two pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Kyle Schwarber. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now. Two and two. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a liner. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Souza Jr. The one two. Swing and a liner, but foul. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the bat. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side.
Here's Jed Jerko now as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Jerko is retired, and there's one away. So one away here with the bases right. empty. And that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Two balls and two strikes now. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Manny Pena will be next. Lifted in the air to center. Almora is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Striding in, Manny Pena will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. In now, Albert Almora, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Kane is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So digging in now, John Lester, he'll get to take his first cuts here. Lester. Cubs pitcher at the plate trailing with a one and two count. And now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. At the plate Javier Baez hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. Two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Yelich is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Set to get his day started, Orlando Arcia. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Now Lester deals the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. 1-1. One, one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Arcia gets his lead at first, nobody out. Still showing bunt with two strikes, but he pulls it back three and two. Yeah, now you've got a guy up there trying to give you an out by bunting. So the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and maybe put yourself in a situation where you could walk him. In now is Lorenzo Cain. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One one on its way from Lester that's popped up and that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit and they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Now batting the third baseman standing in now Brock Holt 
This is on the ground over to first. One there. On to first, and it sails right by him. On to first, but not in time. It's a fielder's choice and an RBI. And look at this. The runner from second is going to come across to score. The right fielder. In is Christian Yelich. Yelich. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Ready now, Avisail Garcia. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-1. Hard hit ball to second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. At the plate now, Jed Jerko. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Rounded down the third baseline. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. Now a long throw to third. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 3-0 game. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Eric. Stepping in now, Eric Sogard. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. On the ground to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. Now at the plate, David Bodie. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 2 1. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Sogard backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Chris Bryant. Cubs to this point have yet to break into the hit column. Hit well towards the hole. Garcia gloves it. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So now with two out and the base is empty is Wilson Contreras. No runs, no hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. A ball and two strikes. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Manny Pena. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. This is line to left, but he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. So coming to the plate, Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Eric Lauer. Three runs, four hits. And no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. This is popped up. And no one will track it down. Ground ball left side. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. The center fielder, number six. Into the box, Lorenzo Cain. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Can't connect there. It's two and two. A runner on first with two away. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center, giving chase is Elmora. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Line to the right side. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. Now back. The left field. Kyle. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. A oh, double play ball to second. Four to second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Now at the plate, Steven Souza. Runners on first with one down. Ground ball fouled on the left side. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lays off two and two now. And it's fouled away. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. The better fielder, so five. runner at first here with Albert. two gone in the inning. Albert. And into bat next is Albert Almora. The 1-1. One, one. That's the ball. Two balls, one strike. Found a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and you swing a pitch that bad? Not good. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. From the belt. Kicks and deals. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. The pitcher. Now to the plate, the pitcher, John Lester. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. High in the air out to center field. And Kane will make the catch, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Brock Holt will match up with John Lester now to lead off the inning. The 1-1 one, one home. Count is two and one. I got three one. Three Waiting balls. next, there's Christian Yelich. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And that's out number one. Ready once again, Christian Yelich. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting, Avisail Garcia. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Jed Jerko would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The first baseman, Jed. Lester sets. Here's the 3-1. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. 
the batter, number seven, second baseman. Aaron so now to the plate, Eric Sogard. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time is laid off, and the count runs full. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And the run will come across to score from second, and they open it up to 4 nothing now. Alec Mills trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Into the box now, Manny Pena. Ball three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. On to first and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Stepping into the box, Javier Baez. He flew out in his last at bat. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Now at the plate, David Bodie. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Kane is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He was a ground out victim last time up. Two and two the count. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The captain, number four, Milton Contreras. In now, Wilson Contreras. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Into the corner and slicing foul. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Garcia has a read on it. And the inning is over. Next to bat Orlando Garcia. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 home. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. The 2-2. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. On a line, that's a base hit. Plate, Eric Lauer. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. The second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane. Lorenzo Line drive to center field. Almora. Is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in, Brock now Holt. Batting. He's working on a one for three thus far. 
Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The one two. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Contreras gathers and the throw to first ends the inning. Stepping up now, Anthony Rizzo. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Line to the right side. Yelich is there and he makes the catch for the out. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Schwarber, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Yanked high and deep down the line in right, and it's a foul ball. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Peter caught too much of the zone. And a swing and a miss here, so the it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Steven. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Standing in, Albert Almora comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Garcia. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Trevor McGill will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Jason Hayward is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number the 1-1. Jason is fastball taken high for a ball. And he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Almora in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Riding in once again, Avisail Garcia. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. But it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. The first baseman, number five. Yeah. At the plate now, Jed Jerko. Can't find his own there, and it's three and one. Three and two, full count. Ready now with the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. The batter, number seven, second baseman, Eric. Standing in now, Eric Sogard. Liner towards second. And that's in there, base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting, Hector Manning. Pina. To the plate now, Manny Pena 
hit down the line at first. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Schwarber is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Orlando Garcia, two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. The 2 1 home. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Hard hit ball to second, and that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Rowan Wick answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam, but needs just one out to get out of it. Keston Hiura will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Schwarber is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. David Phelps has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 41. Here's Jason Hayward now, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Left side, but well foul. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Still two and two. Now the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Javier Baez. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Kane is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Into the box now, David Bodie. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and two. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on base to set them up. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Chris Bryant would be next. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back goes Garcia. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box, Chris Bryant. Fouled off. Now the three and two pitch. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Alex Claudio will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Wilson Contreras will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. 
Not quick enough that time and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Hit on the ground to third. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The tag and he is out at third base. Cut down trying to go first to third and the inning is over. So now to the plate, Lorenzo Kane. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a liner. Foul. The one two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. The third baseman. In now, Brock Holt. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. And here's Christian Yelich now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Christian Yelich becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Five one, our score as we play the eighth. And he misses with that one, ball four, and that's going to load the bases now with still only one away. Number five. Here's Jed Jerko now, three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Full count, 3-2. and two. Fouled away. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And it's fouled away. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. The next 3-2. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Stepping in, Eric Sogard. He's two for four in the ballgame. Eric. Now the three and two pitch freezes him a strikeout looking so two gone now in the Brewers half of the eighth the catcher, and up next nine. is the catcher Manny Pena. Manny. Pena got him so the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded the side is retired. Settling in now, Anthony Rizzo hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. The 1-2. Is looked at for ball number two. Claudio is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. 
Payoff pitch on its way. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. He went down on strikes last time up. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Kane. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Nico Horner will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number two, Nico Horner. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Garcia fields it cleanly. Throw to first here in time for the final out. And the Brewers have finished off a three-game sweep here on home soil as this one is over. Six to one, the final tally today. The Brewers led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Eric Lauer earns the win his second as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Please drive home safely.